when you come to the doctor for your first checkup, you don't realize that a lot of what the doctor knows was already done in the hospital. In our practice, we get a printout of the baby's newborn record, and that gives us a lot of information. When the baby was born, he actually received a score. The score is called the APGAR score, and it looks at five different components of the baby at birth, one minute, and then again at five minutes. The first one is color. Usually when the baby's born, he'll be a little bit blue. Second is respiratory function. Is he breathing? Has he started breathing? The baby was not breathing inside of you, but now the minute he's born, he starts breathing. Then is heart rate. Baby's heart rates are much faster than ours, probably double. Our heart rates are about 80. The baby's heart rate is really 160, would be perfectly normal. Then tone, reflexes. Babies are typically flexed. So is the baby flexed? If the baby's not flexed, then he might lose some points for that. And then the last thing is called reflex excitability. The doctor or the caretaker at the delivery will place a little catheter down the baby's nose to make sure that he jumps. Pediatricians, this is the way I was taught, we think it's a jinx to give the baby 10 out of 10. So very often the best score is nine out of nine. Anything above six is considered a good score. If the baby is below six, then the baby's in trouble and usually the doctors will begin working on him and trying to get his score to improve. The baby is also given a blood test at birth. That's called the newborn screening. And in Delaware, we look for 37 different illnesses that the baby may be born with. One other test that they do for the baby is called a pulse ox. It's really simple. They just put a little bandage around the baby's toe and that measures his oxygen level. A normal oxygen level almost always assures that there's no congenital heart disease. Next, the baby had a hearing test at the hospital. You might ask, how did that happen? He can't raise his hand, but they do it with little headphones. It's called a brainstem devoked response, and they get a little electronic beat without the baby saying anything. Passing the hearing test is a really good indicator that your baby hears very well. 